young things of Hollywood are back in London. Yep, it can only be for the premiere of the second film in the Hunger Games trilogy, Catching Fire. Cue lots of beautiful women and very hunky young men. Yet all the ladies of the movie say they weren't getting too distracted by it all on set. You know, here's the problem with that, is that they're like, my brother's on set, that's weird. I mean, come on, like, me obviously being way too young to even think about them like that. It's like, when I look at them, I'm like, oh, hey, what up, big brother? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They're, they're, they're handsome, and then you get to know them, and then they're like your brother, and then you're like, oh, good for you. Like, you know, it's not, I don't know, I don't find it trips me up very much. Hundreds of fans braved the miserable British weather and it seems the stars are still humbled by the so-called tribute's dedication. It doesn't feel weird because I remember being, like, I, I remember doing that. Like, it, it really doesn't feel weird. I guess it feels weird at how unweird it feels. They're just really supportive and nice. <laughs> They're just being super friendly. <laughs> A little loud, but friendly. I don't think you could ever get used to this. It's incredible. Every time we come out to one of these premieres, the fans show up and show their support. It's raining and it's cold. People have been lined up here all day. It's, it's, uh, it's impressive. It gives you so much energy. But it seems a huge success from the first film, or from her Oscar for Silver Linings playbook, hasn't quite gone to J-Law's head yet. Yeah, I don't really think about it. I mean, I mean, it's obviously it's an, it's an honor. It's great. Nothing in my personal life has changed, fortunately. Chins up. Smiles on. The Hunger Games, which tells the story of children being selected for a televised fight to the death, grossed nearly 700 million US dollars worldwide and became the surprise hit of 2012. And all the stars reckon it's all down to one character. No, to do something. I think that, that Jennifer and, and a portrayal of Katniss is a very real, real thing that people are really looking for. I think that she has a, a reluctancy to become the hero that she is, and uh, I think some people can relate to. It's not always just being 100% okay with things in your life and having to work with it. You know, for a lot of young people, I think they look up to this girl Katniss, you know, because she she manages to stay herself and not let the system change her. There's a lot of anxiety in the world right now. I think, especially young. People. People feel that, and Katniss Everdeen is a beacon of hope. The Hunger Games catching fire sees Katniss and Peter, the winners from the previous games, going on a victor's tour and is set against a simmering rebellion. The film's in cinemas from November the 22nd. Her entire species must be eradicated. Her species, sir? The other victors. Because of her, they all pose a threat.